How are you doing, young man? So let me ask you a question. Why are you using a chapter that is not canon to try and justify my argument that Femto and Griffith are different people? We get it, Gun Toad. You're that all-knowing berserk guy here to put these dumb Griffith defenders in their place. But you might want to sit down for this one, bro. Now, you claim that because the idea of evil froze Griffith's heart in the last chapter, it is therefore not canon, and I cannot use it as an argument that Femto and Griffith are different people. Because Miura didn't allow it to be released into the physical volumes. But you really need to start paying more attention to chapter titles and numbers, dude. This is chapter 83, the last chapter. And it includes a part of the conversation between Griffith and the idea of evil where fate and the collective consciousness are fully explained. Miura decided that he revealed things too early in this chapter, so he decided to have it removed so that things could be revealed more organically later down the line. So you're right, Gun Toad. This chapter is not at all canon. But I'm really struggling to find the part in the chapter where it explains that Griffith's heart has been frozen and his compassion has died. I'm really looking everywhere here, Gun Toad. Oh wait, hold on. Huh, it's right here. Chapter 82. A full chapter before the last chapter. It must be some kind of problem with the scans. Let me go check the volumes. What the fuck? It's right here. Chapter 82. He finds it strange that he can't feel anything over the deaths of the Hawks. He's told that he will never cry again, and that his heart has been frozen and his compassion has died. I thought this was non-canon. Holy shit, the non-canon idea of evil shows up in the official English Dog Horse release of the original volumes? This has got to be some kind of mistake. They must have accidentally printed the pages that Gun Told told me were never actually released in the Japanese Tankabons. I wonder how they got that. Hold on, I've got it. There is no way they'd adapt a non-canon scene that Mura didn't want into the 1997 anime adaptation, right? He was involved in that. <laughs> What the fuck? Let me try the movie. What the fuck? But whatever. Those aren't necessarily canon. It's the manga that matters, right? We can be sure that those words aren't canon because Miura never brought it up again for like the next 300 chapters. He acts like it never even happened, right? Oh. Griffith went to the Hill of Swords to see if anything would shake his heart, and then it's confirmed that nothing would. Then he feels something for guts and says that his heart should have been frozen in the exact same phrasing as chapter 82 in reference to his emotionality and the moonlight child i'm gonna be honest gun toad i'm having a really hard time wrapping my head around this if miura regretted this particular scene so much to make it non-canon and remove it in 1996 before Volume 13 could even be released in Japan, then why is he directly referencing it over a hundred chapters later in 2001, five years after it was supposedly removed? And that's not even mentioning his 2021 reference to the final tear ever shed in Chapter 361, 25 years later! Here's some advice, Gun Toad. If you're gonna act so fucking arrogant in talking down to me about what's canon and what's not, you might want to develop a basic understanding of the chronology of some of the most important chapters in the entire fucking manga. And you might not want to block my account before you make a video directly addressing me and ripping my arguments to shreds. Even better yet, don't remove and block every single commenter that proves you wrong in your comment sections. You must have blocked like a hundred people. 
Thankfully, I got a new TikTok account, so I was able to make this video. What are you running away from, Guntoad? The fact that Griffith and Femto are fundamentally different? Or having to acknowledge a mistake on your end? I think you need to grow up.